she's just a regular girl and she loved sports and she loved being outside and riding her bike and playing tennis and doing all these things and this happens and life changes. That's my latest birthday. And then these, this is I like won this for doing gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these are like from the tennis tournament. But, and that one is when, that's when my mom noticed I was not walking well. That was the picture. Ryan and her brother were out riding scooters and she fell off her scooter, not a bad fall. And you know, her brother Jake said, Mom, she shouldn't be crying. It, she barely fell. I'm in a room and I'm thinking I'm gonna hear, yeah, she has a broken leg. And instead he calls me over and says, this is a tumor. And he's like, I've seen it before and it looks like cancer. Each year, thousands of children like Ryan have their lives turned upside down by cancer. They're just your everyday kids that should be going to school, that should be playing afternoon sports, that should be playing with their friends. And cancer does not discriminate. When I started to learn about pediatric cancer and the lack of funding it receives, I told Buster, I was like, you know, this is really, really tugging at my heart and we've got to do something. A couple of years ago, <clears throat> Kristen met a lady named uh, Melissa Wiggins and her child was just diagnosed with neuroblastoma. <laughs> Yeah, the press conference day, it was a big day. It was a uh, it was an emotional day, kind of just putting out there what, um, you know, our passion about this. And his name, his name's Cannon, and he's a few days older than our children. And I think it just really uh, hit home with us. Inspired by Cannon's story, Buster and Kristen have made a commitment to raise awareness and funds for pediatric cancer research. Special visitor. Hello. As they work towards this ongoing goal, the Posies remain focused on touching the lives of these children every day. You know, I mean, yes, we give medicines, we give antibiotics, we give chemotherapy, but that doesn't say anything about the power of an emotional visit and an inspiration for a kid to say, wow, you know, they came to visit me and I'm going to do my best to get better because he said that maybe someday I can be out there with him. I mean, that's huge. Yeah. What do you play? Yeah? All right. All right, here we go. Say Giants, one, two, three. Giants, Giants one, two, three. How are you? Good. I'm glad y'all are here. Oh, this is a good one. This is a game ball. Mm -hmm. It speaks volumes for the kind of people they are. Everything people do to make it better for these kids is very much appreciated. Oh. That looks like a homer to me. That's really the, the, the most rewarding part is being able to spend a little bit of time with some of these kids that have been going through such a difficult time. and. It's really humbling to be able to put a smile on their face, to share a little bit of excitement and happiness with them. What's your name, buddy? Uh, don't be shy. <laughs> what the Posies are doing is remarkable. You know, my goal is to cure all of childhood cancer. I think that with Buster and Kristen's help, we'll get back to that goal a little bit faster. You know, it's just, it can be such a lonely, feeling like you're battling by yourself and they're not alone we've got their back we're here to support them and we're doing everything we can to help them and help raise money and find better treatments and ultimately a cure.